Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gambling Savant. Today I'd like to take a look at an article related to Casino Coin and also take a look at the market cap. So I'm new to Casino Coin CSC and I'm kind of piecing different articles together, information, and coming up with my own insight and predictions for the future of Casino Coin. And it looks very positive and reassuring overall. So let's take a quick look at this article. Um, back on January 19th of 2021, in Casino Coin's last statement, it was made clear that there were a number of issues that were making it difficult for Casino Coin to continue. Since taking over, there have been a number of sometimes conflicting statements by me on how we would progress going forward. Prior to the release, it was rapidly becoming clear that far too many bridges had been burnt over recent years that almost made the situation untenable. So I think what they're referring to, prior to the new management and takeover, things were kind of starting to crumble. The uh, project was not advancing. They had lost relationships or, as they say, burnt bridges. Um, so... That has since changed. They say, however, since the statement in January, multiple parties have come forward looking to repair relationships and work with the team to take Casino Coin further. With that, we have been able to reach new agreements, define a new clear strategy moving forward. We are also we also secured considerable additional investment funding led by the Knox Group of companies in the Isle of Man to ensure that we are able to deliver on this new strategy. So they have financial backing, which is always important for any sort of project or business of this sort. Uh, so that's encouraging. And uh, they say, so what is the new strategy? Well, we previously made you aware of Eminence Limited, a new Isle of Man registered business, and that a swap would be initiated from CSC to the Eminence token. This will no longer be the case. Under the new strategy, Eminence Limited will be the parent of Casino Coin, and the name will live on under a new rebranded identity. So I touched on this in the last video related to Casino Coin. They are rebranding the entire project. They have new and additional financial backing. They have new management, new technology. So. That is what I needed as an investor to move forward um, with being part of the Casino Coin community and supporting the project. They say in March this month, we will be initiating a swap from the Casino Coin ledger to the XRP ledger. That's going to take place this month, if, not, if it hasn't already. This swap is going to happen off exchange only in conjunction with XRPL Labs. Their flagship project, the XUMM wallet app, will be used by utilizing an embedded migration wizard. It will be an easy flow that allows people to import their existing CSCL accounts and facilitate the swap via the app. This is a change that we are genuinely excited about and we are looking forward to the collaboration with XRPL Labs. This will present a raft of new opportunities in the future. Casino Coin on the XRP ledger is going to focus on being a fast and cheap payment method for regulated industries. Regulated industries, let's make sure we take note of that, which is huge. Regulated gambling, sports betting, poker sites, all of the rest. From our point of view, the XRPL is still one of the most fitting solutions for this purpose. In recent years, community-driven development, decentralization, and the ability to submit amendments accelerated. It will allow the team to focus on the core development, having no longer to worry about maintaining the integrity of the network. Eminence will support the XRP ledger by running a validator. Being carried by the XRP ledger will also make it easier when it comes to third-party integrations like hardware wallets and exchanges. We are also thrilled about the DEX abilities and opportunities. More detailed instructions on the swap 
when and how will be provided in the following days. So I'm going to go through the rest of this article. I do want you to be able to digest the vast majority of this information. As part of the swap, KYC will be mandatory. The bankroll manager, BRM, will be released as a new casino coin wallet once the swap is concluded. Following that, casino coin as a product will be heavily focused on Tier 1 and Tier 2 gambling markets. I know you've been told this many times in the past, but talks are now in advanced stage with one casino and more conversations are actively taking place in the background with additional operators. Under the new structure, we are also hoping to be able to secure substantial revenue streams via affiliate deals. So that paragraph right there to me is critical. They are working on a contract with one casino currently. There's more conversations that are actively taking place with additional operators, and that is progress to me. And that's what it's going to take. You know, just matter of fact, that's going to have to take place for them to move this project forward and implement Casino Coin with the XRP Ledger. That's very, very good news. With the considerable new investment that has been secured, we now have enough capital liquidity within the operational business to target a top 15 exchange listing for CSC. Due diligence is currently underway, and we aim to be listed on our target exchange by June 2021. So, Casino Coin is looking to be put on different platforms, different exchanges to be traded. This summer, if that does take place, we could see a real liftoff with Casino Coin. So, that's about it as far as the uh, article goes, or what I wanted to touch on, anyways. Uh, I'm kind of piecing all these different uh, articles and, and information together, like I stated, um, to make sense of it and to be able to. Uh, relate to you um, given the information and the the advancement of the project. So that's it for today related to CSC, Casino Coin. We'll take a quick look at the market cap. Nothing has changed as far as the top 10 goes. Uh, most of the market is red. The market's down 4.31% on the day. And the market cap as a whole is down about $100 billion dollars sitting at $1.71 trillion. So, nothing out of the ordinary, a little re retracement, and um, we'll see what the next several days brings. And that is it for today. I did want to bring some information to you, and uh, I'm going to leave you with a quote. This quote relates to the game of golf. In golf, as in life, it is the follow-through that makes the difference. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for following along, and I'll be in touch with you shortly.